This summer solstice brings the launch of Synchronicity University. So excited about finally presenting you guys with a free online, fully accessible database of astrology classes. You can watch lessons right now at synchronicityuniversity.com and of course my YouTube channel, nadiashaw.com. Hello, Fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2015, General Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month has lots of symbolisms playing out that suggest a quiet month, a month that is low key, but that doesn't mean there isn't a lot happening under the surface. Now that low keyness is largely within you where you're being asked to take a little bit of a step back while others around you might be kind of chaotic, there might be a lot going on, and actually there will be a lot going on in the context of love, which I will be talking about in the love-focused horoscope. So when it comes to whether it's love or even business partnerships, wherever it is that you have to get along with another person, there might be a little bit more activity taking place there, where you're questioning the validity, especially early in the month, of a key relationship. How is that going to work for you? How is that going to play out for you? These are the questions that you are asking yourself and very much on your mind, very much on conversation as well. So renegotiating terms in some way with a partner and for a general focused horoscope for a business partner where that applies is what is taking place for you. But regardless of that, it looks like a lot of what takes place or a lot of what it is that comes together has in some ways largely been decided. It's, it's almost as if what needs to be said finally is said in the context of a business relationship, again, where that applies. But if that doesn't really apply to you, right? You might have a business relationship, okay, finally you guys are speaking the words and having a clarity ultimately of what needs to change, what needs to end, if you're gonna move forward towards greater prosperity together. If that is not your situation, a much more likely situation to take place is you being asked to be observer, you being asked to step back a little bit and look at what is happening around you without necessarily getting too involved. Now, this is actually a fine art that I think is hard for a lot of Virgos out there to really embrace. And that is having the understanding and ultimately the spiritual lesson of understanding what is your business and what is not your business? <laughs> what it is ultimately that is a part of a dynamic that has nothing to do with you, that you've got to let other people sort out and play out. And what it is also ultimately that you gain from deciding that, you know what? I'm going to respect the fact that these people are learning what they need to learn and I don't have to be in it. I can observe it without being in it. That's going to be the invitation now because there's going to be a part of you that wants to dive right in, that wants to delve in actually, and will be very tempted in a very spontaneous moment, especially in the middle of the month. You might actually think that you're doing a lot of good and yeah, for you, yes, you may end up doing a lot of good, but it's almost as if I'm seeing that even if you didn't say anything, you do yourself good. So it's gonna be up to you to decide how you're gonna navigate it. Can you really be a force of transformation in this? Or is this more about you wanting to, whether it's feel useful or wanting to be heard? And are there ways that you can do that that are healthy? Is it appropriate in this particular situation? That's gonna be part of your sacred learning now. How much is appropriate to say? How much is appropriate to pull back? What is it appropriate to bring and be present for? And what is appropriate ultimately to say, I can be present without actually feeling the need to influence anything any way? How is it that you can actually be present and when asked for your opinion, guide people towards a greater sense of peace, a greater sense of harmony, while at the same time acknowledging, if only within yourself, that there are things there that you don't really like. That's going to be part of the opportunity for you. What I can say is that it is by being quiet, it is by trusting the process and particularly trusting what you've already put into place that you end up being the greatest good and the most effective agent that you desire to be. So where appropriate, hold back, pull back where you can. Where appropriate, if you feel inspired to share, if it's in that moment, 
whether it's with those people directly or with someone else, figure out healthy avenues to say what you need to, if only for your own learning. At the end of the day, the universe is really going to ask you to get a fresh perspective on your inner motivations and to get honest with yourself about why it is that you're feeling the need to participate in a situation that ultimately might not have that much to do with you. Now, there is a new moon happening in the middle of the month. A lot of this stuff I'm talking about is actually sort of... Uh, ignited, if you will, awakened, if you will, by this particular new moon in the middle of the month. What I also like about this middle of the month is that really it is setting the stage. It is preparing you uh, for a sense of freedom, a sense of lightness on a level of psyche. Next month is a really big month for you, and I'll be here to talk about it then, but next month we have got an eclipse taking place in your sign a solar eclipse happening in your sign. Again, I'll be here to talk about it then, but that really is, I mean, if ever there was a game changer, and I know there's lots of opportunities there to change things up, of course, always, every day offers us, us an opportunity to go a new direction if that's what we want. But it really is eclipses that just bring that change. It just kind of arrives. You don't have a lot to say about it. The further off you've gone from a higher purpose, a higher path, a path of a loving fate, the more dramatically the universe is going to bring you back. So when I see such an important and big astrological event coming up for you next month in the bigger picture of your life and how that really is going to be one of the standout moments for you over the course of this year when a lot of things change for you, it might help you to keep perspective as events unfold now. Because largely what's taking place now is quiet, Largely what's taking place now is on a level of energy, maybe even on the level of your dreams, where you may have some really vivid, and actually if anybody is likely to have some dreams that change their entire perspective or even open up luck or money to you, it would be you. So right around the middle of the month, set that intention before you go to bed. Say, okay, if there's any money out there for me, <laughs> if someone's left me some money in a treasure chest underneath a tree somewhere, please reveal it to me now. <laughs> the chances are that will be revealed to you if ever there was celestial omens to suggest that greater prosperity comes about or the way towards greater prosperity comes about through the dream space or through you not even being aware, through just trusting other people. You've done what you needed to do. Other people are working on your own behalf and allowing them to do what they need to do. If ever there was a time, this would be it. So set that intention because in some way the universe is going to try to usher in greater prosperity to you in the dream space and in the space of your unknowing or the space of your not knowing. What I also really love about this month for you, or what I actually love about this month for you, is that there is that sense of being cleansed from within. There is that sense of, you know that you're starting again, you know you're gearing up for something wonderful, something big, even if you can't necessarily put your finger on it, you know it's there. Trust that knowing. Let it take you to good places. And I promise you, before the month is through, you are going to see the benefits of trusting good karma.